guys uh, in this lecture I will be teaching you about the transformer core and uh, different type of losses in the transformer so uh, I have asked this question in my previous lecture that why iron cores are laminated uh, lamination means uh, for example if the thickness if the core thickness should be one meter for example they will not use a solid iron core they will split this iron core in minimum thickness of uh, millimeters and then then uh, they will put in as a lamination they will join together and uh, they will make a core so question is why iron core are laminated and what are core losses so this is the question uh, uh, there are two type of core losses uh, there are two type of losses in transformer uh, one is core loss and one is eddy current loss okay uh, we will discuss these losses in detail now copper losses copper losses uh, are known as ice or all losses is the electrical power which is lost in heat as a result of circulating current around the transformer copper winding hence the name copper losses represent the greatest loss in the operation of a transformer the actual watts of power lost can be determined in each winding by squaring the compares and multiplying by the resistance in ohms of winding i score or losses so first loss is in a if the current will flow through the winding it has resistance the formula we know the heat or the loss will uh, the, uh, the loss will be produced in shape of heat so what's mean the energy in the form electrical form part of it will be transformed into an a heat so how much it will be transformed it will be equal to loss will be equal to i square into r so what is the solution for this if you if you're designing a transformer or uh, the question is my question is how you can reduce copper loss uh, ask yourself if you want you can hold it and just find out okay uh, the answer is if you reduce the resistance then the loss will be reduced how you can reduce the resistance by increasing cross-section area of the conductor so again if you increase the cross-section area of the conductor the cost will increase so so uh, in the design factor we will consider the losses versus the cost of uh, copper to find the optimum uh, level of the conductor so second question here could be so why heat is produced in conductor so and, and losses are occur so when the electrons are flowing they are colliding with the uh, atoms electron and result in creating the heat for example if I make my hands uh, rub my hand together heat is produced same way when electrons are flowing in the conductor there is a collusion and which is resulting in the heat good conductor have less collisions okay next we will move to iron losses iron losses are caused by an alternating flux in the core of the transformer as this loss occurs in core it is known as a core loss iron loss is further divided into stresses loss and eddy current loss so which loss how we are dividing the losses in transformer one loss is happening or occurring in the core uh, in the winding it's called it's made of cop copper so it's called copper losses increase copper loss will decrease decrease copper loss will increase another one is iron losses this uh, this loss is appearing or this loss is, uh, is, is, is happening in the uh, core of the transformer so it's called core losses further we will discuss about this loss there are two type of uh, 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 losses in it uh, uh, before studying this we will I will explain you a little bit stresses loss so stresses loss can be reduced by building the material having smallest area of stresses loop so this um, at the end I will explain you so generally silicon steel is used which is having least stresses loop area the AD current loss uh, 
is caused due to induction of EMF in core which causes flow of circulating current in core these circulating currents are called AD currents the heat loss taking place due to these circulating current is called AD current loss this can be reduced by manufacturing core in the form of stack of laminations so there are two type of losses in transformer one loss is core loss uh, and one is copper loss core loss further is divided into two more uh, categories uh, one is uh, stress is loss another one is uh, eddy current loss so stress is loss uh, I will explain you a little bit here okay when you start the, uh, this point is uh, zero magnetizing of the transformer because uh, transformer is magnetized uh, because of alternating currents it will be keep on magnetizing in one direction then de uh, demagnetize and then magnetize in another direction like uh, you can see uh, in first instance uh, north pole will be upside and south will be downside in next instance the, it has to reverse so in this way it will produce alternating current so here i can show you uh, for example the transformer was totally de-energized and i started to magnetize so the curve will be like this transformer will be magnetized at this point then again because it's a cycle it will go back it will not go back on the same path uh, for example uh, this is the uh, uh, transformer cycle at uh, 90 degree it will come here 180 ideally it has to come back to the same zero but what's happening actually is it's not coming back to the zero uh, flux level there is some residual flux flux at 180 degree this is the point so driving magnetic field must be reversed and increase to, uh, to large value to drive the magnetizing to zero again so this point you can see there is still some magnetic flux so when the next cycle will come first it will make uh, it has to make this magnetism zero and then again start the, to make the flux in the reverse direction so this force or this energy any you can say at uh, 180 degree transformer should be completely magnetized demagnetized uh, but actually what's happening is transformer is not completely demagnetizing there is some residual flux in the core because of the nature of the material uh, here you can see uh, they have shown that uh, 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 all the direction of uh, uh, the magnetic material is you can consider like there are thousands of compasses small compasses if all these compasses are in direction their flux will be added it will become a strong magnet so if some of the compasses are moving in random direction or in reverse direction the flux will be reduced okay so uh, the force required to make it uh, reversed again is uh, it, it this force will be a loss so it's called uh, basically uh, stress is loss this uh, curve is uh, known as stress loop name is like this if the area of this stress loop is more the stress loss will be more if area is less the stress loss will be less so this is considered during design phase of the transformer the stress loop shows the history dependent nature of magnetism magnetization of ferromagnetic material once the material has been driven to situation the magnetiz magnetization field can then be dropped to zero and the material will retain most of its magnetization it's like uh, remembering the history okay so what is the solution uh, the solution is the solution is silicon is added in the core silicon is further softening the core uh, uh, which is uh, helping to um, resetting of the uh, some of the magnet which is residual magnetism it will will be reduced so this is the solution another type of loss is ad current loss like a conductor which is cutting the as, as i told you due to mutual induction conductor is cutting the in the last example I've shown you the conductor is cutting the core here the same flux is also cutting 
this uh, this core also not only it's cutting the uh, secondary coil it is also cutting the core core has also resistance the current is also induced in the core so if the uh, uh, this current will be circulating the path will be like this okay so again this current will heating up uh, the disadvantage of this current will be one it is a loss secondly it will heat up the transformer unnecessary it can damage the transformer so it is a limit it will put the limitation on the transformer to transfer the energy and it's also increase the losses of the transformer so what's the solution solution is to decrease uh, increase the resistance so the losses of uh, ad current will be less the current will be less so by this the, the transformer is is basically stock in the form of laminations so we are using laminated core okay so these are two type of transformers that uh, the two type of losses that we have discussed i hope you have understand and uh, the lecture thank you very much